Hey guys, it's Ash Wednesday today, and I'm cooking seafood, like we eat seafood all the time, not just for Ash Wednesday, but since it's Ash Wednesday, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cook us up some seafood. So what I'm gonna make today is a shrimp, a shrimp etouffee. And this is the way I make it, it's easy. I was taught to make it like this. I always make it like this. It always comes out perfect, and it's no hassle at all. First of all, you saute a stick of butter, which is already in my pot, with your onions and your peppers and your, we call it the Holy, the Holy Trinity over here in Louisiana. It's your onions and your bell peppers and your celery. Whatever else seasonings you like. This is what we like. I buy it already cut up, easy, easy. I buy it like this in a bag. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need one can. Now, I use one can to one pound. So that's how you can figure it out. Of the, um, the I use the golden mushroom, Campbell's, a can of that. That's how it looks when you open it. Of course, my staple, Tony seasoning. And I have a pound of um, shrimp already cleaned, deveined. I bought it like this from my local store, Bilo. So, uh, and it's fresh. And you can put crawfish, you can put crab, you can put whatever you want in it. Today's shrimp for us. Uh, everybody loves crawfish etouffee, but we love shrimp a lot. So whatever I have on hand, that's what I'm going to cook. So I'm going to saute these onions, and they're almost ready to add the shrimp to. Just want to let it get... It smells so good. We just celebrated Mardi Gras, and Lent starts the day after Mardi Gras over here, which is, starts with um, Ash Wednesday. So, usually Catholics do not eat meat on Wednesdays. It's not, to me, it's not a sin if you do or not. It doesn't really matter to us, but I decided today I was going to cook seafood, which we love. So, that is sauteing. You want to keep some of your butter in there. You don't want to cook it all the way down. Because you want it to mix with your, It tastes so good when it mixes with your shrimp. Because you want your shrimp to kind of turn. So I'm going to add my shrimp now. And it like that. And you want to cook your shrimp till it turns pink. Which doesn't take long. Some of them are already vain. Some of them are so little. It doesn't bother us. So I'm going to cook this with some rice. Put over some rice, of course, is our staple here in Louisiana. But you can use cornbread. You can put it on cornbread. You can put it on a baked potato. Whatever you like like that. So I'm going to let that saute a while. And it's going to get pink, 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 your little shrimp. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. That's one thing people do sometimes. They overcook their shrimp. And you don't want to do that because then the shrimp tastes rubbery. And you want to have that good taste of it, you know. So, yeah. This is what I'm cooking today. So, like I said, I'm going to let that heat back up with the butter. I'm going to saute that. Just till your shrimp starts curling up and turning. It doesn't take long. And I'll come right back and show you when I add my golden mushroom to that and what it looks like. Okay guys, I just added my um, golden mushroom soup to it to my shrimp and I'll show you how pretty it's going to come out this takes about a this is like 30 minute meal easy because you, you, your shrimp are already cooked because they've been sauteing and your um, your soup's cooked I'm going to add a can 
of water that would add it to the soup. And you can make it how thick you want it and how thin you want it. And you can see my shrimp are almost cooked also. So yeah, that is like the three ingredient easy shrimp etouffee. Like I said, you can put the regular mushroom with it. I just use the golden because it makes a beautiful sauce for etouffee. You're just not gonna have as pretty a sauce if you make uh, use the regular, but you can add both if you want it a little bit thicker with more mushrooms in it, but this is how we like it. So I'm gonna saute this for like um, another about 15 minutes. Put it on low for 15 minutes and it's gonna be cooked. When I plate it up on the rice, I'm gonna come back and show y'all.